Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! England is facing water shortages by 2050 unless rapid action is taken to curb use and wastage. The Environment Agency has said that enough water to meet the needs of 20 million people is lost through leaks every day. Here's David Shookman. We're using more and more water and there are more and more of us. And add the effects of a warming climate and the Environment Agency is warning that there could be shortages in the decades ahead. This isn't the first time we've heard this. It seems fantastic that Britain, with all our rainfall, should ever suffer from drought. There was a water crisis back in the 50s, but since then the population has grown dramatically and there's much greater pressure on supplies. In the most extreme scenario of, of really extreme drought, things would look pretty bad. You'd have severe threats to health, so waterborne diseases, respiratory diseases, mental health uh, would suffer. Uh, there'd be damage to the environment because uh, our businesses, our industry, our energy depends on reliable water, and there'd be huge damage to the environment. So it's very important that we make sure we never get there. It's homes that use more than half of the country's water supply and that's why this issue has the potential to become highly sensitive. So the Environment Agency wants us all to be more aware of how much water we're using. But what does that mean in practice? Well, in a typical household, 22% of the water is run through the cold water taps. And that's why we're always being asked not to run them while we're brushing our teeth. Next, the toilets. Now, they also account for 22% of the water used in a typical household, and modern designs are becoming much more efficient. But the biggest user is the shower at 25%. Now, no one's talking about restrictions, but they do want us to realize that in the decades ahead, supplies may be more limited. But every day, three billion liters of water are wasted. The water companies say they've spent billions over the last 30 years trying to fix the leaks. The good news is that we've reduced leakage over that time by about a third, um, but there is a lot more to do, and companies at the moment are preparing ambitious plans for the next five years to reduce leaks. So what about the future? Well, piping water from wetter Scotland to drier England would be expensive, and so is taking seawater and stripping out the salt. But if droughts become more common and shortages really bite, radical answers may well be needed. David Shookman, BBC News.